burdensome. So thanks, Cameron. Tell us about IT Assist. Hi, Becky. Thank you very much. Um, so IT Assist is a new program recently launched on TechSoup, and it is a managed IT service offering. And for those of you that are not familiar with that term, managed IT service, this is a common service that lets you outsource the management of your IT to us. We have, um, we have a, a large group of specialists that are spend all day, every day troubleshooting, monitoring, upgrading, um, patching software, hardware, servers uh, for nonprofits around the United States. And we, uh, we will basically offer this service to nonprofits um, to help support their IT. It's sort of like outsourcing your IT to a third party and having an entire IT department at your disposal. Um, let's see if I'm going to move the slides forward. There we go. Did that work? Um, Becky, would you mind moving the slide? To, oh, there we go, to the next one. There we are. Um, so this is a, a program that TechSoup launched to serve only uh, nonprofits and public libraries where, where available um, or where public libraries are able to take advantage of services like this. I know that's restricted in some places. In order to keep the costs as low as possible, we provide the support services virtually. So um, all of the monitoring and, and, uh, of, this, of both servers and desktops and laptops we do from afar. And we provide help desk support. So if somebody forgets their password or needs, um, you know, accidentally downloaded a virus and their computer is blowing up, we have a whole um, hotline or a whole help desk support staff that you can call or email and, and um, request help. And any of your staff can do that. Uh, it is uh, unlimited help desk support, so you're not limited to, you know, five hours a month like some services do that. Um, it's offered live within, uh, you know, kind of standard business hours, and then there's a ticketing system for 20 hour, 24 hour support, and any urgent issues get um, get handled immediately. We, the service mostly monitors the security and performance, manages the backups, makes sure all of your data is backed up every day. We know this is a really critical problem. Particularly, we saw this in uh, we saw this as a big problem with nonprofits in areas of the country where you experience disasters, um, earthquakes, uh, hurricanes, snowstorms. Um, we've had a lot of nonprofits come to us over the last couple of years having lost all of their data because it was all on a server in the closet. It wasn't being backed up, and um, it, was, it was a disaster for those organizations to lose all of that information and try to, try to figure out how to piece it back together. So the system does daily backups of everything um, into the cloud to make sure that you can recover after any kind of an event. In addition, um, one thing that makes the service a little bit more unique than a lot of managed IT service offers out there is we do regular meetings with all of our customers to talk about what your IT needs are, where are your constraints, what's the best strategy for upgrading your hardware. Say you just got a grant and you say, look, everybody needs, everyone's hardware is really old and terrible. Let's upgrade everybody's hardware. That might not be the best option for you, or you might want to upgrade some people with new computers, and you might want to go refurbished for other people who don't need the fanciest, um, highest performance computers. Um, so we do have this technology expert and expertise and advisory service that, we, that is part of this where people can, can, nonprofits can discuss with us what their needs are, and, and we can help them figure out a strategy for meeting those IT needs. Um, the program includes a free boot subscription, which you just heard about from Catherine, and it also includes a hardware update program. And so this is, um, if again, if you decide that you're – often we'll find nonprofits, they will – everyone in the office is running a really old version of a software, and they're doing that because their hardware is badly out of date and they can't really upgrade. We have put together a plan for helping nonprofits upgrade their hardware so that they can do it over time in a, in a kind of a thoughtful, planned way that's financially sustainable and manageable for them. So that again is part of this whole, um, this whole process. 
And I see a couple of questions coming in over, uh, over the chat about pricing. So because every nonprofit is different, some, have, some nonprofits have 10 people, some have 100 people, the pricing is variable depending on the number of staff you have, the number of locations you have, uh, the amount of data that you need backed up, and um, the amount of number of applications you need supported. So it's a, um, there are about five different criteria that go into determining pricing. And um, I will get to how, that, how you find out the pricing in a second. Um, there is another question about is IT SIS provided over remote desktops, virtual workstations, or supporting local workstations? If local, how do you deal with hardware virus related failures? So the, the service is, um, provide, is managed uh, remotely. We do have the ability to, um, to uh, come in over a remote desktop to troubleshoot computers when they need help. We also do have the ability to send in a staff person you know, if, there's, if we really do need somebody to come in on site and actually look at, the, look at the situation in your office, we can certainly do that. That's um, something that's easy to, to send somebody in. Um, so again, the sort of the, the value that TechSoup, TechSoup launched this because we heard so many nonprofits complain about how their IT was unmanageable, but it was too expensive to hire IT staff. So we really are trying to fill a need for uh, nonprofits that need high quality technology advice and management, and we're trying to do it at the lowest possible cost, which is why we do most of our work remotely. It, you know, it costs money to send somebody into an office to have a conversation with somebody. It's, and so, um, so again, the, the focus is really on trying to keep the cost low. TechSoup is a nonprofit. We only serve nonprofits. This is, this is our focus. We really understand some of the pain points that you have around funding, around grants, around um, managing capital expenditures versus operational expenditures. And so that's, you know, we're trying to bring the, the best value and the highest quality service um, for the money that we can. So uh, the way you find out more about IT Assist is that you go to our uh, website at techsoup.org slash IT dash assist. And we have a, uh, a form that you fill in that you can provide some basic information and then somebody from our staff will give you a call um, and we'll talk through your specific needs. Um, you know, and every nonprofit is really different. Some have servers, some don't. Um, some have a lot of Macs, some have Macs and PCs, some have no Macs. So it's um, so we'll put together kind of a custom quote for your organization to, to to help you, um, to give you a, a sense of what the cost would be for your organization to, to manage this. Um, so go to TechSoup.org slash IT dash assist and uh, fill out the form and we will um, be in touch with you within a couple of days to set up a time to talk. Um, oh, one other thing I wanted to say about IT assist is it's it becomes most cost effective for organizations that are um, kind of eight to ten employees or staff members and and greater um, from a from a cost management cost effectiveness um, perspective it's often uh, cheaper for really small nonprofits that have a staff of two or three people to find somebody local uh, you know I, I'm just going to be totally honest I don't I'm not trying to sell something to an organization that doesn't need it um, likewise for nonprofits that are larger that do have IT staff um, IT assist can be supplemental to that existing IT staff we can take on the help desk support helping those people reset passwords, get rid of viruses. Um, we can take over the monitoring and managing of your systems so that your IT staff can think more strategically about what, um, what you need to do from an application um, implementation standpoint from your, IT, your overall IT strategy. So you know, we, can handle, we can handle both. We can be supplemental or we can, we can take on the whole, the whole management ourselves. Um, so again, visit IT Assist, um, submit some contact information, and we'd be more than happy to talk to you about how we can help you out. 
Thank you for that, Cameron. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and share my desktop again just to show what the uh, question, uh, the form looks like on IT Assist. Uh, you can quickly fill this out if you're interested. And you know, this came about because we got so many requests from organizations over many, many years uh, for actual tech support, <laughs> for real help. Um, so this is what the form looks like. Asks a handful of questions. You know, how do you do your IT now? What kind of support are you looking for? Is there anything specific you want to share with us about your current technology or your organization? So it's a pretty simple form. Maybe take five minutes to fill out. And then folks would call you to, to get an idea if it really is a good fit for you. Um, but yeah, we, we have gotten so many requests for uh, two decades <laughs> to really provide more day-to-day -day support around technology. And that's where this uh, came from. So oops, I'm sorry. I'm meaning to go back to my slides, and instead you're seeing an email. <laughs> sorry about that. Um, so we hope that you'll check that out if it's something that may be a good fit for you. If you're not sure, you can fill out that form and get contacted, have that conversation, and really determine if it makes the most sense. If you're looking for local tech support and you determine that IT Assist may not be a good fit um, or that you just want to go a different way, you know, there are great affinity-based groups like uh, N10 has 501 Tech Clubs, and I'm happy to share some of these resources in different cities around the country. Um, former NPowers that were I think 12 or 13 of them around the country. Many of them have different names now. Um, but those types of organizations can also help with local assistance for nonprofits. Many times your state nonprofit association also uh, has resources they can refer you to around helping support your technology. If you decide you need something uh, you know, in your town, in your city, um, but you know, we wanted to have this option available to you, and so we created it, um, and hope that you'll check it out if it seems like it might work for your needs. With that in mind, one of the big parts of our mission at TechSoup is helping to provide resources for you to connect with local experts, for you to connect with the educational resources so you can best learn how to use those technologies or optimize the technologies that are already in your hands to help you best achieve your mission. And so I wanted to highlight some of the, some of the education and expertise that we have available to nonprofits and libraries as part of our programs. And some of them you may know about. You're here on a webinar, and so you know about our webinars, at least to this degree. But we do offer webinars. Um, usually each week we have one, sometimes two, sometimes three webinars a week, depending on the topic. And they are primarily geared toward nonprofits. Sometimes they are geared toward a specific audience, like we may do a, a webinar specifically for religious organizations. Or we may have webinars specifically geared toward libraries from our TechSoupForLibraries.org program. Those happen usually once a month, uh, the library ones. But we do them on a wide range of topics, and our webinars are free. So you're always welcome to join any of those. And you can see that full calendar of what's coming up at our events and webinars page. But we also make I think a couple hundred of those webinars that are still uh, moderately up to date are, are available for free anytime to watch on our website. You can watch them there. You can download slides. You can click through. You can share the slides. You can present them in your own community because we license our webinars Creative Commons, meaning that you can take what we have created, and usually you can share that back out with your own audience. So feel free uh, to share with your friends and colleagues any of those webinars that you see on our site. We also have created a new uh, learning management system platform that uh, – well, we haven't created the platform, but we are using a new learning management uh, system to bring you a catalog of courses that you can take 24-7, 365 days a year at your own time. So rather than coming to a webinar at a specific time uh, on a specific day, these courses are available to you to access when you need them and however, uh, how, how much time you want to spend how little time you have to spend. Uh, and we are making them available. Every few weeks we're trying